Hey guys, so today's Mother's Day. My daughter um, decided to help me replant all our plants. We're very excited for this process. Um, I just wanted to use this day as a fresh day to get started. Honestly, I think we waited a little bit too long to transplant ours. We probably should have done it a few days ago. We are on day, let's see, this is day 15 for us. So it probably somewhere around day 10, 11, we could have transplanted these. Um, as you can see, some of them are already growing quite a bit and the stems were growing into the napkin or the paper towel. The good thing is that paper towels are biodegradable. They will break down with um, time over time with rain since they are paper. Um, so we went ahead and planted a few of these into the soil with a little bit of paper on it and that should be okay. It shouldn't be a problem. So I'll keep you guys updated on how mine are growing. Um, a few of them did not sprout or only sprouted a few roots. So we went ahead and planted those completely in the soil. And for now, I just used a stick that I found in the yard to kind of designate where that was. And then I can remember to water that spot. And we'll see if those sprout. I don't know if they will, but it's worth trying. Um, eventually, I'll probably grab some gardening sticks or a popsicle stick to label it pinto bean and put that in the plant so I can remember what's what, since I do have quite a bit of garden going. But um, you can just find any stick and mark that spot. You want to remember to plant your pinto beans about six inches apart, four to six inches is the recommendation. And um, then for each row, if you did multiple, if you're doing multiple rows, um, you're going to want to plant those about two feet apart. So I just use a stick to help measure that. Um, it's a lot easier. I didn't have a ruler here, so I just measured out. Remember our trick with the arm? Your arm is about a foot long, so I used half my arm to break a stick for six inches and then another one to make a foot and just double that when my spacing so hope you guys enjoyed watching this process i hope that you guys are enjoying growing your own plants too and if you haven't tried yet it's not too late go for it um, it's so much fun and you learn a lot in the process i know that some of mine didn't sprout and you may have had the same issue um, so i recommend always doing a few at a time to just see what happens but i hope you guys enjoyed this, these videos and um I'll be posting more updates on my big garden later. So you guys feel free to subscribe, like this video if you, if you enjoyed it, and uh, keep watching my journey of me learning all about the garden. You guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.